I'd like to draw your attention to a major innovation that our administration put into effect less than three years ago. Increased tax credits for the renovation of older buildings. With that one initiative, we help to send your tax dollars back into your communities. Across America, people are getting the message. Our tax credits have made the preservation of our older buildings not only a matter of respect for beauty and history, but of economic good sense. I know your efforts will help to give our towns more restored buildings, more jobs, and a renewed sense of pride. And that will be good for our entire nation. For while our country's muscle may lie in our great industrial cities, America's heart is in our small towns. Since President Reagan delivered these remarks more than 30 years ago, the historic tax credit he put in place has played a critical role in our country, revitalizing small towns, creating jobs, and increasing economic activity, all while preserving our nation's historic buildings. The statistics are impressive. More than 42,000 buildings have been restored. Over $130 billion in private capital has been reinvested in our communities. Nearly 2.5 million jobs have been created. And an average of $1.20 has been returned to the Treasury for every dollar invested. As tax reform legislation takes shape in Washington, let's not lose sight of the reasons President Reagan chose to make the historic tax credit a permanent part of the tax code. The historic tax credit is a pro-growth investment that works. Your support of the historic tax credit is urgent if we are to continue the important legacy started by President Reagan.